Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Paitska International, new artist and educator here. And today we are going to do an absolutely stunning design, not over the top and uh, not too complicated. You can have a wee preview of it in here. <laughs> yes, cute holographic butterflies, a little bit fiddly, uh, but I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button as there is lots of tutorials coming up almost every day. And if you're existing subscriber, thank you so much guys for all your likes, comments and shares. Let's start! We are going to start with the form application. So I'm just pulling the form and going to trim it a little bit so it, uh, the needle has a better shape. So you kind of measure the size of the needle and then just cut it a little bit so you can get a better pinch. And this way the needle is going to look much um, slimmer. So we'll roll in between the fingers. And actually the pinching, I can show you the difference, like this needle is pinched and this one isn't as pinched. So you can see it. <laughs> so you can see it this way, like this one is flat and this one is nice and pinched and it looks much more beautiful and that's why we are also cutting the form so we can squeeze the form more and um, and get those uh, beautiful slim looking nail okay so once you're happy with the form just squeeze it in and then we can start sculpting a coffin shaped nail so on a client I would uh, use an extra nail prep which dehydrates the nail plate and then universal air bond which gives a good adhesion of the natural uh, gel to the natural nail. It works like a double-sided tape and what is great about it um, because it dries on the air you don't have to cure it and it saves you lots of time. Then light rose fiber gel And we are going to do some glitter encapsulations to start with, so nice and thin layer. And then pick up another scoop of the product and apply it on the free edge. So on the place where the nail um, leaves the nail bed, I'm applying a little bit more product always like when I sculpt and we are going to go for a medium length so not too long not too short just so we can have some room for a beautiful design so just going to the letter L and then give it a cure So this is our first layer, which is a skeleton of the nail. And then we are going to build up the second layer and encapsulate some glitter. So I've got some different, different types of glitters here. Because some glitter encapsulations takes time, you really don't want to uh, put too much product because if you do put too much product, it is going to um, really run. So I'm just going to pick up my glitter brush, open up the pots. This one is really nice. And then some flakes. Okay, that's a nice combination. So pick up a small amount of the gel and just apply it through the entire nail. Like nice and thin layer. You don't want to build up your apex yet. Okay, so very thin layer. And then using a kind of old brush, we're going to apply the glitter. So what I'm always doing is I'm 
just um, placing the glitter, uh, the brush in a pot and pick up the glitter. And then some flakes. Amazing fun creating those kind of glittery designs. And there are also some empty spaces, so I'm going to take a finer glitter, like much smaller one, and just fill up some spaces with those glitter as well, so we don't have any wee gaps. Okay, then ideally you want to have some sponge to touch up your glitter and kind of flatten it. I don't have a sponge with me the now. Uh, it's fine, cameraman. I will use the cameraman searching for the sponges. I will use the nail wipe. The sponge is better because it kind of springs back, so it makes the glitter really nicely lie down. But I'm checking always the side view to to check if there is uh, no sticking out bits and pieces, and it's actually um, really good. Not much of the sp uh, sticking out bits and pieces. And now this nail is ready to be cured. So put it inside. Okay, and then once it's curing, so you can close all your pots, put it on the side. Like, I kind of try to always save some time by doing those uh, different things in between. And we need to build up some structure now, because we've got just a thin skeleton. So I'm going to use the crystal one, and I like it because it has such a thin consistency. That is a really quick to apply for glitter encapsulation. So I wouldn't build up a full nail with it, because you can see it, guys. It is like a water, like very runny gel, so it would be very hard to build up a full structure with this gel. Um, that's why I prefer it only for a glitter encapsulation. So the first layer uh, of this uh, gel goes on really nice and thin. You kind of want to flatten your glitter parts, okay, so, and really stick them well to the nail, because there might be some loose ones, because we have used only a little bit of the product and then give it a flash cure. Flash cure is a couple seconds and uh, this gel is great because it cures only in 30 seconds so it's also speed up uh, the working time. So now I need to clean my brush and I show you guys I'm using a drop of the UV cleanser because that was a question as well. So for my brush, I'm using a drop of the UV cleanser. And UV cleanser is a product which removes inhibition layer from your gel polish. It is delicate enough to don't make your mm, gel polish to go dull. So that will be also a delicate enough for your brushes to be clean well. Okay, don't don't use your uh, blue scrub, which is a nail dehydrator. That will be too strong for your brush. And you can see it like I change my brushes like once every few years. Uh, because they last me really well, uh, but I'm trying to always shape them into a good shape after the use. So now another nice and thin layer, and that means we've got a perfect amount of the product around the cuticle area and at the free edge. So we are not going to have lots to file. Okay, so we've got the right amount of the product in those places. And now I'm picking up the scoop because we need to add some structure. But with this gel, I need to actually, I need to work extremely fast because of its consistency. So I'm picking up a large amount of the product and I'm placing it very in the middle, only like in the middle, like even less than I do it normally with the build your gel. So like a one string in the middle. Because by the time I put it to the lamp, the gel is going to spread into the places I need it, okay? So this gel, you can see it, you can touch it up if you need it. I can see it, it is going to give me a nice structure uh, by the time I put it to the lamp, okay? So now we are going to give it a cure. Okay, and again, get the products away, just so we can start shaping this nail and then move on into the design part. Okay, that's a couple seconds longer. So UV cleanser. And now we can remove the form and shape this nail. I think it is going to be actually pretty interesting design. <laughs> um, 
and I'm looking forward to see see the end result of it mm. okay just clean the inhibition layer and let's shape this nail so file the free edge <coughs> nice and straight for coffin shape file the one side and you can see I'm like supporting the file with my finger here I don't support and look what is happening my file can you see it guys my file bends and this way I could get a misshaped nail so ideally I should hold my finger higher to support it so the file doesn't um, doesn't bend I mean they are strong files I just got a really a strong pressure when I'm filing uh, but ideally you always want to give those extra support to your file like you wouldn't file like this um, you want to have those support okay so after those two moves um, I can start seeing where else I need to shape and I'm always starting my filing with these two moves so file around the cuticle area and this is always necessary as well for the nails to last and to don't lift and now we are going to smooth the entire nail So it's already start looking better. Now I wanted it a little bit thinner at the free edge. And then once you're happy, swap to the buffer and just smooth the entire surface. Okay, a couple more. And then once you're happy, just remove the dust and we can move on into painting. So I have just cleaned this nail. Actually, I'm not happy. I've got one place which I'm very unhappy. So once a sometimes it's good to clean the nail because then we can see it. That is better. Much better. Great. Now we will do two paints in black. So I'm just going to take my D-liner brush, put a drop of the upvoted black gel polish in there. So just a small drop. And just so it's quicker. We are going to paint half of the nail here. Okay, so nice and close to the cuticle. That's enough. Again, that's enough and then same gap and we are going to paint it here just on a half of the nail now 
and using the D-liner brush, we'll just perfect those lines. My dog is talking. He just wanted to come in. <laughs> okay, so I just uh, make those lines really nice. And then we are going to give it a cure. So cure it well. Okay, and then when it's cured, we are going to do the next step. So we are going to use the transfer foil gel, and this one works more like a transfer glue and some butterflies. Let me clean this dust. So I've got some butterflies in here. And my suggestion is on this foils, you cannot feel which side is good to transfer. So normally the matte side is a side which we transfer. And with this one, you have no clue. So what I'm doing is there are some parts of the designs which are cut out. So I'm checking with my scissors which part is coming. And this one is coming. So that's mean this is my matte side. Uh, mat side. So I'm just going to keep it on my matte side. And then pick up the butterflies which I like. So I love this one. The full color one. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting it out a little bit. Okay, so that's my butterfly cut out. <coughs> Place it with the matte side to the top. Now we will apply the transfer foil gel. So this one is different. This one works like a glue. It's not like a foil design gel where you create the design with it. This one you get the full uh, foil coverage. Okay, so I'm just applying it on the black part. Because that's where we want the foil to stick in. And I choose black because this holographic will look best on this black uh, on the black background. And then we are going to give it a cure. And what is great about it as well, it will work, guys, for you either 30 or 60 seconds. I have uh, we have done it like uh, the product which works in different kind of lamps as well because that's always uh, very difficult for people to achieve a perfect curing time. So you can cure it either 30 seconds or a 60 seconds and uh, it will still work absolutely perfect. Okay, so that's another butterfly which I really like. Place it, the matte side. Oh, now I'm gone. I don't know which one is matte and which one is not. See, that's the only minus of the spoils. That's the matte side on the top. And I think it will be nice to squeeze one more. And this one is smaller. This one is perfect.
Okay, now we are going to transfer those butterflies. So that's the matte side, which means I need to twist it over and just place this butterfly in the place I wanted it to transfer. You can use also the silicone tool. Okay, so we'll get this with the silicone tool. Then this one is a matte side as well, so We are going to place this butterfly here. I've got my tweezer here. <laughs> I should actually use the tweezer straight away. Okay, so another. No, let me get rid of this one. So what you have to do now is just really remove the transfer foil from the nail and it's transferring absolutely perfect. Okay, now this one. So this butterfly is coming here. then pull it out, this butterfly is going to go in there. I hope I've got it good side, but if I don't, I will show you that um, even if we take it off, the transfer foil is going to work, even if we clean it with the blue scrap. It is good side. You have to kind of, with this uh, this technique, you have to kind of do it at very gentle compared to the other products. Like you don't have to pull it it's strong like a waxing technique. Now let me squeeze one more butterfly. And this time I have placed the foil the wrong way. <laughs> so this is my matte side. This is the biggest minus of this. Uh, there we are. This is the biggest minus of this transfer foil. I really struggle like finding the right side. But what I did, because I touch it, I've got blue scrap in here. And I'm, I have cleaned the mistake I did it. Oh gosh, again, I'm lost which one is which side. I think this would really annoy me. I will probably have uh, damaged half of the piece of the foil and I would write with the marker on it, this is a matte side or something, um, because otherwise it is really time consuming. Okay, this is matte side. And butterfly I like, I don't want to cut it out anymore. Oh, this one, this one is perfect. Okay, so we are going to apply it on the foil gel, which was clean with the blue scrap and touched with the fingers and touched with the previous foil. And what is amazing, it still works. So it doesn't matter if you are a beginner or if you are like an not, I don't know, not maybe arty person, you can still use it uh, with a really great results. Okay, just clean all that up and then let's do some glittery part in there as well. I think it will look nice or maybe some gems. Let's do gems. So I'm just going to take some small gems and then the drop of the base gel. Okay. 
and then we are going to stick some gems in there. So just a one line. One line. And one line. I think these gems will just make this design even prettier and kind of finish it off. You can actually see I've got two different types of the gems in here. So what I'm doing now is I'm just picking up the one type of the gem because otherwise there will be a, the line wouldn't be even because they've got different sizes and also I like this one's better they've got orange kind of look to it Okay, this line is nice. Let's do the other one. Yeah, that was my mixture pot of all different types of gems. So what I'm really doing is searching for those kind of orangey ones. It definitely needs to have those gems on. Okay, here on the side I'm just going to put the other ones because I've got more of them. I couldn't pick up the worst spot of the gems, all mixed size. And I think for the gems, like if you want to have a really nice line, this is really crucial, you've got them all the same gems. There we are, one more. Yeah, and that's it. All the gems are in. I'm just going to 
give it a cure and then we can apply the top coat so the glitter can uh, come up uh, as well to exchange this beautiful design. So a couple seconds cure only. I need to put this pot on the side and write on it, don't use it. <laughs> For a straight lines. And then just apply the top coat. So don't put the top coat over the gems because uh, then they're losing their shine. Paint on the other side so the glitter can show up really nice. I think it will look <clears throat> really nice this design in a French look as well. Like just like a black French with some crystal smile line. Oh yeah, let me show you this uh, holographic look through the butterfly. So I really like it. Like all those different colors coming through it. I think it's, the, the nail itself looks like absolutely amazing with all this blink. Uh, the biggest minus only is that uh, you cannot uh, pick up which side of the foil is matte and which one is shiny. So I suggest you maybe use uh, like a marker to write it on the back of it. But yeah, that's what we have created today. And I hope you have guys really enjoy it. Glittery hacks and bye for now.